Hey guys and welcome back to another new Animal Crossing New Horizons video. We are here on Bestayed Island. This is by MacDad969523 on Twitter. Bestayed Island, here we are. That's a very long name by the way, but I saw some pictures of your island and I thought it looked amazing. So here I am to come and have a little visit. I'm very excited about this one. Here they are. <laughs> wow, really cool entrance. I love these items. Aren't these quite rare? Are these... I don't remember the name of it. Oh, it's a drawer. <laughs> oh, wow. Creative um, usage there. Hello. How's it going? Very cool outfit. I love the engraving that he's got on the ground. Alright, so we're going to follow him around and visit his island, which I think is very zen themed. I'm pretty sure. Oh my god, look at these. Oh my god, this is such a cool idea. I want to do this. How did you do this? I want to do this. I'm going to have to ask them about this. That's so cool. Shopping district. Okay, very cool. I'm digging it so far. Really nice. Oh my lord. Look at all the... Oh my god. Everything is like so crafted in. I like it. Oh Jesus. That must have cost you a lot to get that built and uh, made. <laughs> Looks really cool though. Well done. Yeah, there's so much um, packed into here. I really like it. You can tell they've sort of made the best use possible, uh, best best use possible, of all the space that they've got on their island, which I love seeing people do. I love it when every sort of inch of the island feels very packed with stuff. This is so cool. Your spa, okay, really nice. I'm digging it so far. A word that I love to say. <laughs> yeah, no, this is really nice. You've got some murals and stuff. Cool, cool. I like it. So many good items in this game that you can get. I've been getting more and more of them recently, and it really does help make your island feel that much more uh, exciting and cool. But yeah, no, very zen-themed, as I said earlier, which is great. I love zen-themed islands. My villager housing spot, okay. So we've got Molly living here. I should have guessed that by the little sign. That's really cool. I really want to do something like that now, actually. Rosie's house. Rosie's one of my absolute favorite villagers, as I mentioned a few times. Wow, she's even got her own pet turtle. Who goes rah? <laughs> That's great. And here we have, I don't know who lives here. Um, museum lives here, I guess. No, it's Bianca's house. <laughs> they all have their own gardens and stuff. It's so nice. Wow. I'm a really, fa I'm really a big fan of when people make their animal areas really cool. I want to do even more with mine, honestly. I think I'm definitely going to take some inspiration from this guy's island in terms of what I do. Just, I I could just gotta say, like, I love how, like, everything is so, like, packed in. It really does feel like a cool sort of Japanese island. Yeah, that's so nice. They've even got their own piano to play on. Fauna's house, one of my favorites. All of his villages are so good, by the way. All of his villages are great. Look at this. Look at the little, like, patterns he's added on top. Still need a sign for Bianca, yeah. <laughs> but it, it does look really cool. <laughs> Oh, I love this area. What a great job you've done. It, it just feels like such a nice little neighborhood, you know, like I'd want to live there. Every, everyone feels so close together, but in like a separate kind of way. It's it's so nice. I'm so impressed with this. And yeah, of course, look, he's got his own gym because he's like a jock villager. Really nice attention to detail. I really appreciate that sort of thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. Oh, you've got your own little concert place. All right, let's, let's have our own concert. All right, you're going to go on there and I'll go on here, obviously. I'm a pianist. So, alright, I'll start playing and you can... Yeah, yeah, we've got our own concert going. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Maybe that's the uh, instrument <laughs> he plays in real life. I don't know, but... <laughs> if he plays an instrument in real life, I have no idea. But Yeah. i got to go on the piano every time, obviously. Marshall's house. He's got a golden reef on his door. Yeah, I, I figured he was your fave. I figured he was your fave since you've literally given him a golden reef. I want to look at this guy's map real quick. Okay, I know he's going down there, but he, he'll wait, don't worry. Oh my god, just... <laughs> this map is crazy, I love it. Look how much, look how much has been put into this island. It is wild. I'm a very big fan of this so far. Everything just feels so exciting. Like, what am I going to come across next? Stitch's house. Oh. Look, he's got his own little, like, seating area. Oh, I can't, I can't with this. I can't. I cannot. You've, you've done such a good job. He's changing his outfit. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Even his outfits are, like, zen-themed. It's great. I, this is so, such a natural sort of, like, bamboo forest. Are we going through here? Is this where we're going? I'm not sure. Alright, alright. We've got to follow. we got to follow. 
<laughs> He's this is like the moon. Okay, it's 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 basically the moon. It's basically the moon, guys. It's great. He's got a moon on his island, and he has so many hybrid flowers. By the way, he has so many. Oh my lord, I'm impressed. I'm seriously impressed by this island so far. Has so many of the things that I really like about people's islands. Wow. Okay, taking us down here. <laughs> He clearly did a lot with the fishing tournament. I wish I'd done a bit more with it, but yeah, no, it looks good, it looks good. It's where he's just uh, holding his fishing items, you know? If you want to go fishing, this is the spot that you come to on this guy's island. All right, back to the shopping district. He still needs a sign for Bianca. I wouldn't have even noticed that if you didn't mention, I just thought that was 10 villages. <laughs> oh, I love it. It's great, it's so great, everything is great. The little market area, it's so nice, so nice. And up this way now, oh my god, so there is the other side of the island, I'm not sure if, look up, oh my god, <laughs> very cool, alright, are we continuing onwards, yeah, alright, the moon, he, he's captured the moon and he has it on his island, wow, that's impressive, so this is his house, I guess we'll be going in there last, a sort of cafe area, you've got the tanukis running it, that's, that's amazing. Who doesn't love that? And so many flowers on the island as well. Really spent a lot of time getting his hybrid flowers, which is great. This is so cool. It's like a little flower market. That's that's great. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah. I love it. I, I, oh my god. I'm just, I'm just kind of trying to take in everything I'm seeing. There's so much to see here. And it's, it's just all so impressively put together. So this is where he's growing all of his hybrid flowers. Wow. That is so many hybrid flowers. Is he gonna become a, like a flower person? Oh. <laughs> oh, the wrong wrong emotion, I meant to clap, but yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, there we go, he did it for me. Um, <laughs> wow, he's made his own like little farm. And here's the Tanuki Diner, of course. You gotta go in the Tanuki Diner and have this food. Who doesn't love a good Tanuki Diner? I'm not sure I really want them handling my food to be honest. Well, this this is weird. And when I say it's weird, what I mean is like I've never seen a rock formation like this before. That's cool. Really interesting. Yeah, I like it though. And who, here's all his shell stuff. He's managed to get so many items as well. Like some of this shell stuff can take a while to get. It's possible he might have, you know, done some trading online for some of this stuff. But still, it's impressive that he has so much of it. I'm definitely uh, in awe of the work here so far. <laughs> And up here we have our little fountain area with tons and tons of blue roses and white roses. That's crazy. Stonehenge. Oh my god. And he's got like, um, <laughs> his museum area is so fancy. Wow. People always do great things with their museum in this game. It really makes me want to do even more with mine, which I think I could do very soon, actually. There's just so much going on here. It really kind of reminds me of, um... Some of the sort of like tourist areas I went to when I was in Paris. It just gives me that vibe. I'm not really sure why. It's just the way things are laid out. It feels really cool. I like it a lot. Oh my god, he's got the pyramid down there on the secret beach. I love it. So many like... He, he's really made great use of all these little areas that he can pretty much. He's got his campsite over here. And down there is where the animals live. I didn't even know that these two were connected. That's really cool. Yeah, great. I love it. Just enjoying everything that this island has to offer, basically. There's just so much packed in. It, I've seen a few comments where people say these islands feel like a lot bigger than their own, and it's like when you really make use of all these spaces, you can make your islands feel so huge, you know? And that's really exciting. It definitely feels so much bigger than Animal Crossing New Bee. Oh, there we go. Alright, we've gone up here. And here's like a little area to like watch the stars. That's really cool. I love that, that's great. Let me clap, let me clap for you. And you can play a little game up here if you want, which is wonderful. Yeah, I love the uh, the usage of little secret pathways in little areas. Doesn't this look so pretty? It's, it's so great. Wow, okay. So where are we going now? There's so much to see. 
He can get admission into the museum. That's great. I love that. Down we go. Is there even more to see? Oh my lord, look at this. It's crazy. Oh my god. Okay, so now we're going into into the house. Oh, if I can get through. There we go. Alright. <laughs> so now let's take a little tour of his house. We've had so much to see on this island. It has really taken me by surprise just how well this person has used all of the space on their island. It's it's incredible. I really would take it back. And of course, the house is Zen themed and it looks so good. What the heck? It's so great. I love Zen themed islands. I can't lie to you guys. It, it's it's just wonderful. So many different items put in and it's just like I said, yeah, every every little bit of this dude's island, like he's used every piece of space that he possibly can. Look at all this. Like, wow. <laughs> I'm just I'm really enjoying this one. I really feel like um I really feel like this guy has just done whatever he possibly can to make his island spaces feel really um well it's like the way I describe it, and this is this is not a great word to use, it's cluttered, but in a good way, in like a great way. Um, cluttered is, is usually like more of a negative word, I guess. But um, I mean this in a really good way. Like, he's filled every inch. And I think that's that's wonderful. I love I love the, this furniture uh, series, by the way. I don't know if you'd even call it a series, but it all kind of goes together. And it's really great. You've even got the golden toilet. So you can uh, remove your energy and style. Wonderful little room. Very cool. And he's got the tourist bathtub. I'm a tourist, if you guys didn't know. So, very cool item. I actually did get a tourist item recently. Um, let's go in here next. Yeah, I'd like to go in here. See what's popping in here. Then we have two more rooms. Whoa. This room is very, like, um, intimidating. Wow, look at it. Oh my God. The lighting in this room is insane. I feel like I'm... Uh, in space or something, in like a distant planet. It's <laughs> it's wonderful. All right, two more rooms to check out and then we'll basically be finished with our island tour, but I've really enjoyed this one. Upstairs or downstairs first? I think we're gonna go upstairs first and then we'll go downstairs to finish off the video. This one's been a bit longer just because there's been so much to see. Wow, wow, just, just look at this room. This is crazy. This is literally so crazy. You can customize these, what? Oh my god, this is this is insane. This is insane. <laughs> it's wonderful. I'm huge on this. I'm huge on this. The design, it, it's so interesting. It's so interesting. Okay, one more room. Let's check it out. What is it gonna be? I'm I'm so curious what the downstairs could possibly be. Oh my god. Oh, okay. So I've seen this one from one of the pictures. This is like his little like cafe. Look how cool this is. You know what? Uh, not cafe. Sorry. Um, it's like an arcade. Do you know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of the arcade in Stardew Valley in the desert. It definitely looks a lot cooler with the light off, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> but um, it still looks so, so cool. Yeah, that, look at that lighting, wow. All right guys, so we're gonna conclude the tour here, but this has been a really wonderful island. I've really enjoyed this one. I hope you guys did too. If you did, be sure to leave a like and you can also subscribe for even more Animal Crossing New Horizons content. So I'll catch you guys all in the next Animal Crossing New Horizons video.